This is a quick little video tutorial uh, to show you how to use Microsoft Excel in order to do regression. And here's our example. Now to do regression, you have to be very careful because you're getting an equation. So you have to make sure you know which is the X, the independent variable, and which is the Y, the dependent variable, the thing you're trying to predict. Okay, we're trying to predict job performance, so that's the Y. Okay, so to do regression, now first you have to have that add-in that we talked about. So that you, uh, remember you checked off the box called analysis tool pack. Analysis tool pack was an add-in, right? So this way when you go to data, you're going to see data analysis. You won't see it if you didn't check off that analysis tool pack. Okay, you look for regression, there it is, regression. Okay, notice you have a lot of awesome other things you could teach yourself. Everything from histograms, moving averages, okay, regression, okay. Okay, now it's asking you, it's already here, but I'll pretend it's not here. <laughs> it's asking you, oops, it's asking you. Oh, we well, let's let's do this again. Let's do this again. Just, no, we'll, we'll, we can do this again. Yeah, we'll do it now. again. Okay. okay. All right, data, data analysis, regression. Okay, and let's pretend this is not here. So we need the Y. The Y range. comes here. Okay, that's D2 go. to D15. And the X, and remember, it's very important. If you get your X and your Y mixed up, you'll get the wrong answer all every time. The only thing that'll be right is your R will be the same, <laughs> but every, the equation will be all messed up. Okay, let's keep it. You want this on the regression output on a new worksheet. You may want to see the residuals. We'll click here if you want to see it. And that should be enough. So again, check. Is this the Y, D2 to D15? Yes. Is this the X, B2 to B15? All right. Click OK. And now, expand this. I'll let you expand it. Expand it so it's easy to read. Just highlight all the columns that you're using. Double click anywhere. Oh, fast way to do that. Yeah. Okay, now, first of all, notice you got, it's called multiple R here, because this is also used for multiple regression. But it's really R, 0 0.80. The R squared we saw was 0 0.64. Um, you have an F value, the significance, which you're going to learn about. It's, it's definitely significant. And here's your regression equation. The residuals I just showed you, these are the residuals, which you're going to learn about. But here's the equation right here. This is where your equation is located. You have the slope term, point, uh, the teacher may call that B1, and that's point, point 0.151. And then you have the intercept term. Okay, your teacher may either call that A or B0. I call it B subscript 0. And that's minus 5.987. And that's your regression equation right here. So you have a regression equation. You have a test for significance. You have a few other things you're going to learn. But uh, one thing you also check, make sure it says 14 observations. If it said something else, I know that I started with 14 observations. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now you have the basics of uh, how to do regression in yeah. Excel. Do you want to add? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay.